Hi everyone, welcome back to another interview series. My name is Meher from Vancouver, BC. And today I have the privilege to interview Craig Fisher from Dallas, Texas. How are you, Greg? Good, Meher, how are you? I'm doing great, thank you for being here. So Craig is the founder of employer brand and recruitment tech strategy firm, TalentNet Media. He has led global marketing, employer brand and recruitment innovation at, Allied, at LG's Global Solution, North America's largest RPO and staffing company. He has led talent acquisition teams at the Fortune 500 level companies and many marketing and technology processes. His digital branding method has been adopted as best practices by companies like LinkedIn, Toyota, Microsoft, and more. And he's the author of Inbound Recruiting and popular keynote speaker at various conferences worldwide. So Greg, as we are in the pandemic almost ending now, so what are some of the trends or recruitment trends that you have seen that's been emerging and we're going to continue seeing that moving forward? Yeah, so right now we hear a lot about um, a lot of blue collar jobs mm -hmm. uh, are having a real trouble getting people to apply yes. to jobs and the cost for uh, an application on places like Indeed is skyrocketing. So mm -hmm. employers are having to get very creative to get people to apply. Uh, we have you know, still stimulus checks happening and not a lot of motivation uh, by the workforce to apply to these jobs, or maybe they apply, but they don't follow through because all they really have to do is apply in order to keep unemployment checks coming. Yes. Uh, so we're seeing a lot of uh, applies, but not a lot of follow through. And so engagement is going to be key. Speed is the name of the game. Uh, reaching out to people as soon as they apply, if possible, and getting them a light or fast apply process. Don't make people go through an assessment and a 30 minute application uh, right up front. Uh, get that light apply process or quick apply process. Reach out to them, get an interview scheduled yes. uh, and follow up right away and show a lot of enthusiasm for these folks if you really want them to join your organization. Yeah, I totally agree with you. In my current job, someone applied, I believe it was a Wednesday at four o'clock. I called them, did the phone interview, gave them an appointment the next day for a face-to-face offered him on the job. And by 10 p.m., uh, he told me that I found another job. Like, yeah. I don't know, I can be faster than that. And as right. you said, they, are, have, they have now more options. They do. And so everyone is, is struggling to you know, capture the same types of people. Correct. Uh, all, all the personas for these jobs are very similar. Mm -hmm. And so we're seeing a whole lot of overlap in the methodologies that companies are using to title their jobs, putting the wages in the job title. Um, and, you know, talking about immediate start, no experience necessary. Mm -hmm. um, I've been working on a project for Ross stores, Ross Dress for Less, for their warehouses. And there are certain regions in the United States that are having particular problems. Mm -hmm. uh, in this one area we're focused on right now, in Michigan, there are, uh, or Pennsylvania, there are um, 96 warehouses uh, in this one area. And so, uh, you know, that's a lot of competition. Yeah. And so if you if you think about that, right, and this is a this is a, a an area that is a population of like 140,000 people total. Mm -hmm. So there's not right. We're having to draw from adjacent states. Uh, and so the idea is when you do your geofencing, push it out, because if yeah. you look at things like where are the alternatives for these workers to drive to? Mm -hmm. Well, if they're in, you know, if you're talking about the Northeastern United States, if their alternatives are Baltimore or Washington, D.C., it might be a shorter commute, but through two hours more traffic. So they might, you know, do the hour and a half drive, uh, you know, through the rural area that is an easier burden. Yeah. And do you think that when pandemic is over and we become back to normal, whatever that normal will be, especially in the hospitality industry or the entertainment industry, some people, because they needed a job, they change industry. Do you think that they will come back or they will be hesitant? Yeah, I think there's going to be a bit of both. So 
what we do have, which is a good thing, uh, is a constant churn of college students, right? Mm -hmm. And right now we have um, a, a really weird scenario where college students are sort of only, they've, they've only got one foot in. Um, they are you know, not real pleased with the way their last year or semester went because it was only partly you know, in person. They're not sure about the next one. A lot of them have rethought the whole idea of college yeah. or you know, what their path is gonna be. And so we've got these kids who are possibly you know, doing a lot of remote, mm -hmm. uh, maybe living back at home. Uh, and so that changes kind of the workforce scenario. Now in the college towns, that might not be as good of a thing, but in the bigger uh, metropolitan areas, uh, it, it is good. And so uh, we have to rethink also reaching out to our older workforce, right? There are people who would love to come back into the workforce that, you know, left at, uh, you know, a high level, but they don't really want that necessarily salary. They might want benefits and just some security and some extra income and something to do. So we've really got to think about our populations uh, for these types of jobs. Thank you for that, Craig. So for the audience watching or listening for the first time, I'm going to ask Craig a couple of questions and I'm going to post them on a daily basis. So it will be kind of a journey. You can like all the videos, some of them and make comments. So we are here to help you with your uh, job search uh, journey. So tune in next time for other great questions with Craig.